The following video is not endorsed by Disney, Disney Parks, or Walt Disney World. everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Lewis's Adventures with me Lewis Marinucci as your host if you like this video please hit the like button be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel especially those with disabilities similar to mine in this video I head back to Walt Disney World for the first time since 2015 but unlike the last time, which of course was the focus of the very first episode due to what's going on in the world, scuba diving at Epcot is not available. So instead, I take you to, to the different Disney parks I visited during my trip with my mother and sister. I still had fun, and of course, you're going to see what I did at those parks, and of course, Disney Springs as well. Good morning, everyone. Soon, I'll be departing for Philadelphia International Airport, where I'll be catching my plane to go to Orlando and touch down there. We got up around 5 a.m. just to go to the Philadelphia International Airport to catch our plane. And of course... It was a long flight, as you will see. We st started out here at 21st and Spring Garden, and then we end up on I-95. And then later on, we're on the plane as we leave Philadelphia to head to Orlando. And of course, after a two hour long flight which of course we had some turbulence in the process but we were able to safely make it to Orlando in one piece and afterwards we ended up heading straight to our resort Disney All-Star Movies and from there we relaxed for the rest of the day and I leave you all with this amazing track.
Well, I finally touched down in Orlando. I'll be on my way to my hotel soon. Well, after a long day of traveling from Philadelphia down to Orlando, I'm going to call a night here and pick up the next day. Today, I'm here at Hollywood Studios and I'm here for some fun. And of course, yesterday, had a great day at Epcot. Went back to the place where I did my very first episode of this series, where I went diving at Dive Quest. But of course, because of what's going on in the world, it's currently not available, but someday it will be. If you want to see that video, I'll post it in the description below. The link, I mean. Well, we had a great day at um, Disney's Hollywood Studios. You to see here, I got to go on one of the new rides, which of course features the incarnations of Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and their friends from the current Mickey Mouse shorts that Disney has out there. And of course, it involved a runaway train. Of course, we go through these different environments from a desert to even under the sea as Mickey and Minnie try to save us and correct the mistake that Goofy made. Of course, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I meant to say it was a lot of fun and it was funny. It involved holographic images from the cartoon and, of course, animatronics and a lot of effects to make this ride very fun. And I'll never forget that. And then afterwards, we went to Toy Story Land where me and my sister went on the, um, Slinky Dog Dash Roller Coaster. And then afterwards, we went to Galaxy's Edge, which, of course, there will be a part two to this clip as I got to meet a fellow YouTuber who you will find out very shortly after this part of my day at Hollywood Studios. YouTuber Cool Dad. I will be sure to post the link to his channel in the description below. While waiting to ride the Millennium Falcon ride at Disney's Hollywood Studios' Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, I ended up meeting another YouTuber who was there for the day with his family, and he calls himself Cool Dad. And I've seen some of his content and he does good. And of course, he was with his wife, his son, and his two daughters. And I kind of liked their amazing t-shirts advertising his YouTube channel. I'll be sure to post the link to this amazing YouTuber and his family. It was great to meet a fellow YouTuber while waiting in line to get on a ride based on one of my favorite ships in the Star Wars universe. And speaking of the Millennium Falcon ride, for this they had Jim Cummings reprise his role as Hondo Onaka from Star Wars The Clone Wars Star and Star Wars Rebels. And of course the animatronic of Hondo looks like he could have fit into any of the live action content that's shot for Star Wars. And of course, the Millennium Falcon interior looks dead on to the way it appears in the movies as well. And today, I'll be closing this trip out with a trip to Blizzard Beach. Then to the pool here, 
at All Star Movies. And lastly, one more trek to Disney Springs. I didn't shoot much during the last day as the majority of the time I was busy riding water rides and I had to put my phone away when I was with Grace Santa. I only shot the moment that we entered the park and were getting ready to leave the park. I still had fun. It was a great time. My first ever visit to Blizzard Beach as Typhoon Lagoon is currently closed and we won't know if it'll ever reopen again. In the meantime, I had a blast and I'll never forget visiting Blizzard Beach. Well, this trip is about to come to an end. It was fun documenting my adventure to Disney World. Hopefully I'll come back here in the future once things are a little bit better. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, thanks for watching everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. Remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask in public indoor settings, practice social distancing, carry hand sanitizer with you, wash your hands, most importantly, get vaccinated, and of course, stay safe, stay healthy, and together, we are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.